Hello, ladies and gentlemen of YouTube. My name is Mr. Maxwell, and welcome back to another side quest about video games. With myself and Exo Magpie. Hello. Uh, we took a week off last week. Yes, it was a slow news week. Really, there was one only really one. Well, there was thing. the there was the state state of play and the state the, of play in the, in the, the Nintendo, Nintendo Direct. Direct. Um, well, I had some personal things last week. Yes. So, <laughs> <laughs> so, so I, what I we're covering this week. Yeah, we'll cover it this week. We'll cover them this week. The, this I would say this week's been pretty slow anyway, so it's not been... Apart from the big, big news in the gaming sphere. Oh, yeah, apart from the, the big news, which we will get which to. Which we will get to. Uh, we're going to very quickly go over a couple of... Uh, two other things very quickly, just because I think there's something mm -hmm. to talk about. Um, firstly, uh, there's been a Microsoft leak. Yeah, for the, the Xbox... FTC. I think FTC. That, yeah, the FTC. I think it's come from the FTC somehow, so... Yeah, um, I'll be honest, I'm not surprised. Mid-gen refresh, basically. Yeah, basically an Xbox is. Pro. Yeah, pretty much. It's like basically the Xbox One X, but for the Series X. Yeah, so whatever the hell that's going to be called. Um, so it's going to be, I, okay, I have to think of names. Xbox Series X One. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, no, 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 no. Xbox Series X box. With let's a capital all, X at the end. Yeah, let's go all meta on this face. Let's go all meta on this Let's just go... <laughs> honest, honest to God, like, Nintendo has a naming convention. PlayStation is admittedly boring. We're just, oh, let's just put add one to the number. Yeah. But it works. Um, and then there's Microsoft, which I well, still... Yeah. Uh, Sony do the... Um... The Pro now, isn't it? It's yes. A, it's, it's, I know, it's, but the thing is... It'll be the PlayStation when, 5 when, Pro. Yeah, it'll be the PlayStation 5 Pro. But what I mean is, like... Nintendo have some sort of naming convention, but it's always like... They, they, they come up with decent-ish names. Yeah. You know, you got the GameCube, the, the, the Wii... The Switch. The Switch... Um, Sony, the PlayStation is PlayStation one, two, three, four, etc., etc. Xbox is just let's just. And X, Xbox is I I don't I understand you want Xbox in there. I think I think what they do is they look for um, what's the hip trend. But I it think that's what they do. No. It doesn't even fit that no, it though. But that's what it is. It's like modern art. Is it? Is it <laughs> basic? Is it basically someone thinking this is the hip trend? You know, yeah. like in that 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 meme where it's hello fellow fellow students. kids. <laughs> yeah, it's basically that somebody who who is not down with the kids is Trying coming to be, up with coming kids. Up something that they think is down with the kids. Yeah. yeah. Uh, okay. I mean, that's that's a theory. I suppose it would kind of make sense, but just, so, just come up with an actual convention of naming that doesn't make absolutely no sense, and also gets even more risque the closer you get yeah. to like for example the xbox one was shortened to the x bone pretty much so you know um microsoft and we have two x's in this one yeah we do so there's so they're gonna go with three x's next oh yes here we go so <laughs> So yeah, basically next year we're gonna have the um, the the pro or the whatever they decide to call it, mm -hmm. the the slight upgrade from the Series X, that that happens with yes. uh, consoles. Um, yeah, it stayed for twenty twenty a twenty twenty four release four years before plans for a proper next gen Xbox console expected in twenty twenty eight, which is. Yeah, yeah, that kind of that kind of tallies. Um, its code name is Brooklyn. Um, it will be it will be all digital and sports a new. Uh, basically, it's instead of the like the uh, cube, yeah, or the rectangular, yeah, looking thing that the Xbox Series X is. This one's going to be spherical. It's going to be a sphere. Hmm. You know they're going to get dropped. Oh yeah. They're gonna be on. They're gonna be. Really? On, the stand's gonna be like the bare minimum. Does that not look like a speaker? It does actually. It Do looks you, like a. <laughs> it looks more like it, a speaker. I'm, than I'm the, expecting people to shout X. Alexa to it. Yeah, that's uh, what I was thinking. It and the thing, the worry is, is like when they say, "Oh, it's gonna go all digital." I'm like, "No, give me the option to buy a physical fucking copy, you fucking assholes." So uh, Brooklyn is set to offer two terabyte, terabytes of internal storage. Faster Wi-Fi and come with Microsoft's refreshed Xbox controller. 
It will also draw less power, include a front-facing USB-C slot, and be offered at the current Xbox Series X price of $500. That, that makes sense. That's all right. Yeah, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Uh, the new Xbox Series X code named Elwood keeps the current Series S look and $300 price. It's set to launch slightly earlier in August next year. Now, it, here's the thing. Is it going to be an improvement or not? Because if it's not, you might as well not bother. Hmm. Um, because if Starfield's proven anything, your console being cheaper isn't what sells your console. It's your games. <laughs> like, there's been a, there, uh, there's been like a 300% increase. Now, granted, it's all... Uh, 300% of a small number is still small. But still, it's an increase of console sales... Mm. And it ties in with the release of Starfield. Mm. You know, the thing we've been telling, saying for years now, just make good games. Just make good games. I mean, granted, it's a little bit more products. complex than that, but still, like, you, Xbox has the ability, or should have the ability, to make good games. So make good games. Mm. Well, and people will now. buy your console. They definitely do now with the amount of IPs that they've got now. I know. Well, the amount of studios. Mm. And the amount of studios, they've got no choice. Um, so I yeah. hope, like I say, I'm hoping Starfield is not a blip. I don't Starfield really is, I think... is a, even though, you know, Starfield's not perfect, but it's a good game. I think we've got some, I think they've got some. And they have games. some good other games on the way, granted. There's a lot that I would like to see of them before release, mm. <laughs> because um, we don't want another Redfall. Yeah, we don't want another Redfall. We're kind of concerned that a lot of a lot of these stuff is cutscenes and not actual gameplay. Mm. Um, and a lot of games that you announced, I got a feeling an ex uh, Microsoft announced a lot of games too soon. For example, um, I know this is Bethesda before Bethesda was bought, but still, I think the Elden Scrolls was announced. Well, no, no, they actually said they didn't actually even have... Yeah, they announced... They yeah, no, but they announced that because of all the Fallout... The, all the flack they had gotten from Fallout 76. Yeah. You know, it was the whole thing of like, oh, uh, Blizzard is getting absolutely obliterated on social media because we're being a terrible, toxic, unfriendly, and uh, quite literally demonic company. Um, let's announce Diablo 4 and Overwatch 2. Because hmm. that'll make everyone forget. Hmm. Um, but anyway, um, there's another thing that came out though with um, Microsoft in the in the leaks. Um, I don't know who to who, but it was like some big ways talking to each other, and they basically basically admit, uh, you know how they go on about like uh, teraflops and all that. Mm. It, they basically admit, yeah, yeah, teraflops is actually a, a poor, <laughs> a poor. Um, way of measuring a power of a console yes um, and they've like openly and in the in, in the leaks is like they've openly admitted yeah um playstation loads faster <laughs> playstation does better <laughs> and i'm like i don't think you wanted that to go out <laughs> no oh well oh well look um, like like products like sony and the ps4 proved it doesn't matter if your console is is as powerful as the competition if you've got good games people will buy the console because mm. that's what sells your mm. console not the console itself the games that don't want it mm. um, but yeah something to look forward to for Xbox fans because by the sounds of it yeah they've also given out the plans like uh, Elder Scrolls is not out for till at least 2026 which well I was just going which about is the, not surprised I was just going about the new the consoles cause they, oh yeah and they also sound, yeah. Got, they're going to be using 15% less power so, in other words, you're not paying as much. That is <laughs> in this economy. That's a, that is a, quite a quite a saving. Which is quite good. So, um, so yeah, it's a it's good thing for good good things for Xbox hmm. uh, fans. Let's just hope you get more games. I'm a little bit worried about the only digital. Yeah. Thing that uh, I'm a little bit worried about. I'm that. I'm against only digital. I'm like, no, give me the option to bu buy physical copies, please, because. Um, if you pull the thing from yeah. <laughs> from the store and delete everything, a la PT, mm. um, if I have a physical copy, I can still play the fucking mm. game. 
Okay, right, moving on very quickly because we've got things to talk about. Uh, Skull and Bones loses another career director, faces union union campaign. Uh, this game is not coming out, is it? This game, this, well, I mean it is, but this game is going to be awful when it comes out. <laughs> See, the thing is, was like, there, was, there, was, there was an actual beta that uh, I saw a few streamers play, and it, it, while I didn't watch enough of it to get a gist of the entire thing, the game looked okay, as in, like, there wasn't massive bugs and freezes. And... The problem is, is that Skull and Bones is based on a minigame. Yes. And yes, so they're trying is. to turn this minigame into a full-on... Thing is, is that there's definitely more. Off oh, there's more to it. Stuff. There's more off ships, off ship stuff that they've added that probably wasn't in the original concept because they probably realised that just having just that mini game as the full game <laughs> was not going to work. Most likely, but like the thing is. The is, problem is then is that are you they becoming already, just basically a clone of Black Flag? Yeah, and they just like I and I'll always say I don't like Black Flag. Yeah, I don't think Black Flag is very good at all. Mainly because I didn't like the mini game in Assassin's Creed Three. Yeah, I didn't like it, and then you made a whole game around it, and I was just like, oh, I didn't like this. Don't get me wrong, this the 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 shanties and all that were fun, but like you did like. I did like twenty minutes of it, and I was just like, "Yeah, I'm bored now. I'm gonna." This is not what you. I'm gonna. This go is not what else. you signed up for. I don't want. Screen, yeah, yeah that, like I actually want to, you know, do stealthy things. Yeah. The thing, the thing is, is also because it's not an Assassin's Creed game, you people won't go into Skull and Bones with that expectation, they sort of thing. So, those who enjoy that game, that part, that part of the game, will probably. Here's the thing. I've got a lot of people who enjoy who enjoy, they they say I I know a lot of people that say they enjoy that but the minute I ask them okay so what did you like about it they can never actually tell me what they liked about it um usually it ends up being the main character <laughs> yeah uh, I, I don't know they liked the uh, they, they they liked uh, sailing across the sea okay but what about the ship combat <laughs> did you like the ship combat <laughs> no no oh um I'm. If this is a game that I still have concerns about, it's it's been in it's been it's hell. Been for ten years. Oh, Jesus, that long. It's been ten years because it was. I think it was announced twenty thirteen. Oh, Jesus, that long ago. That's mm -hmm. that's that's just but yeah and my tablet has decided to move everything to the left so, so I can't, can't read. I can't read the fucking thing okay um this is coming out if I'm reading this correctly uh it's another one of the big budget lock buster games that they wanted to do uh to go along with uh the crew that's coming out uh -huh. um Assassin's Creed Mirage mhm mm and Avatar Front Frontiers of Pandora. Which I'll be honest, looks just more the more I see of it, the more it just looks like Avatar Far Cry. It looks like Far Cry. I was like, oh no. Which we'll actually get to because that was part of the state of play. Uh, we, so we can talk about that later. Um It was meant to be also coming with um the Immortals Phoenix Rising sequel. Yes. Which obviously got cancelled. Uh, so yeah, Skull and Bones is just not having a good time. Uh, Elizabeth Pellin, that's the director who. She sounds familiar. Yeah, she sounds familiar. Uh, I'm went wondering. To Ubisoft. What... Yeah, she went to Ubisoft Singapore with a mission of uh, the creative director to become to, uh, as creative director of Skull and Bones. Um, apparently, she succeeded in whatever mission she did, but I can't read it because it's. Tablets decided to screw it over the side. Have you tried hitting the square button and hitting it again? Okay. Nope, that has I think it's the actual website. I'll, I'll reload it. I'll reload it. Nope. Okay. Right, fine. Fine. It's fine. Don't worry. And then, of course, you know, to top, on top of that, there's now potential union action. <laughs> yes, there's, there's going to be union action. The thing is, the thing about this game is uh, Skull and Bones actually has to come out. It yeah. has to come out because they've got to deal with, like, Singapore. Yeah. 
Um, <laughs> they made they signed a deal with Singapore, which is why the studios in the studios in yeah. Singapore. Um, uh, yeah, if, if like part of me is yeah, there you like, go. It was originally an expansion for Assassin's Creed Black Flag. That's what Skull and Bones was originally meant to be. Yeah. <laughs> and they made a whole game out of it, and then but then oh, so what? Oh, I've got I've got a bad feeling about that game, which is a shame because it's been a while. Because yeah, I know technically Assassin's Creed Four is a pirate game, but like, when was the last time we actually had a proper see pirate? Ah, uh, true. <laughs> <laughs> I knew exactly what you were going to ask there. <laughs> I just knew. See thieves. Because you you can be a proper pirate on that game now. True. Yeah. So it's took a few years. It took a few years, but you can do it. I still, I, I'm still waiting for the Sea of Thieves, um, especially now after the next series has been Netflix series has been released. I'm waiting for the Skull and Bone, and uh, not the Skull and Bone, the um, Sea of Thieves, sea One, of Thieves Piece. One Piece crossover. I'm waiting for it. I'm waiting for that to happen because that has to happen now. Yeah, it does. <laughs> not only did one, not only was a live animation on net, live action version of the animation on. Netflix and it's actually pretty good. It's actually good. It's actually all right. It's the actually first, good. The first episode is a bit, ow. I'm not gonna lie. There's a lot of like bits where I can see a lot of people going, yeah, fuck this now. There's a, it's there's a lot of like kind of cringy parts. But once you get past the first episode, yeah, but the second let, let, episode. Let's all be, let, let, really let's 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 remember. This is Netflix. This is Netflix. Yeah. But also, the start of One Piece can be cringe at times. Yeah. Don't get me wrong. It's great. It's, it's, to be honest with you, it's not that. It is the acting. Oh, is it the a, acting? It's a lot of the acting is not it's not great in the first episode. It's not fantastic. Um, and pacing is a little bit of a problem in the first episode. But the second episode actually gets it a lot better and it does it so well. So basically, it well. from the sounds of it, they, had, they did the first episode and looked at it and went, okay, well, the first can't ep- edit this shit now. But... <laughs> the fir- the, 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 right, so the first episode fits about, I want to say, about... Free chap? No, not even free. Like it goes from the very beginning, so yeah. Alveda, yeah, right, which is about four, five chapters of like you meeting you free. I think you meet Kobe, and then you go to uh, stick. I want to say Sticks Island, where yeah. you meet Zoro. Yeah, so you do Zorro. the whole Zoro thing, that island, and Nami. So you do all that in the space of one episode. It's a long episode. I think it's an hour and a half. So it is a long episode, but oh, it still that's feels... That's a lot of... It, there's a lot of information that you get, like, chipped in at, and like I said, a, I, the I acting is not great. I... My main criticism for the entire thing is the the fight scenes. They are very slow. And considering this is supposed to be um, an anime... Yeah. Uh, from an anime, it, it's, it's not very flashy, and they are... They are slow as fuck. Like I can, I can tell, I can tell what someone's gonna do <laughs> before they even do it. <laughs> and it, but like I said, a lot of the problems do come out from the second episode. The guy that plays Boogie, at, at first I was like, Boogie looks absolutely garbage. But actually, once you actually get to the episode, because in the trailers they did not make Boogie look good in the trailers. He does not look good in the trailers. But once you actually watch the show and see him in motion and see him in motion and see him working, and it's like. Yeah, actually, no, this actually works. Holy shit. Um, the special effects in, the, again, the first in the first episode, not great. <laughs> yeah, like I said, the first episode, there's a lot of problems in the first episode. So I can see a lot of people being like, no, this is not for me. This is terrible. But if you watch the second one, you get to the second one, you're a bit like, oh, okay. Oh, see, but this is going, this is actually yeah, this making actually sense. this actually works. Yeah. Yeah. They were te- they clearly they yeah. were having teething. They had a lot of te- teething problems. But they had yeah, teething problems with episode one. Clearly, like I'm I'm waiting for Lego, <laughs> <laughs> Lego One Piece to get like a One Piece license because that's going to be ridiculous. I'm pretty sure is that not a, is there not on video Lego? Because I'm unless that's there's fan made stuff yeah. on Lego, but there's not actually a, an official Lego One Piece stuff. Anyway, back on to... Back on to um, uh, Skull and Bones. Yeah, it's in trouble. Again. I think this is its fifth director. Yeah. It left. does not bode well for the end product, I'll be honest. Um, I hope I'm wrong. 
there are some people that are actually genuinely looking forward to this and I understand why because while there is Sea of Thieves I would say Sea of Thieves is a little bit more cartoonish yeah exactly whereas this was supposed to be a lot more realistic yeah the, this was more like like Sea of Thieves is blow yourself out of the cannon to land on someone else to board another ship yeah <laughs> that sort of thing while um, Skull and Bones is like your proper yeah basically if you don't have oranges you're going to have scurvy <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> sort of thing, but like proper like the sort of this because even though like you can get some decent sized ships in Sea of Thieves, mm. there's it, it's only like what any cannons max. I think you can only have up to eight, eight players yeah. in a group. So right, yeah. While Skull and Bones is talk, you're talking about like your proper man of war. Yeah, fifty two gun. Like, yeah, fifty two gun like warships that are just purely designed to go out to sea and sink other ships. Yeah, <laughs> I was like, that, yeah, that's my jam. I I love giant ships blowing up other giant ships. That's 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 my jam. I I, I love this. Give me more. But unfortunately, I mean, this has been in development hell, and that's never a good thing. I I will come out and say that, like when I first saw this game, I told everybody. Yes, I said, and I agreed gonna, with you because that game's going to be in trouble, be, and it's going to be awful. Not because, <laughs> not, and I agreed with you, not because it's a pirate pirate boat action thingy me bop thing. It's because it was Ubisoft, mm. and Ubisoft is literally one of the worst run companies in the world. Yes. Ah, it's got a moment. I'm not surprised. No. At all. Anywho, shall we go on to the big news? Yes. Shall we move on to the big to news? The, to the main event, the prime time fighter, that so is... The week that I decided to take off, Unity decided to just fuck everybody over. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, now we can I, deep dive into the actual like I events don't... and why this is a... Like, okay, so Unity... <laughs> first things first. Unity CEO is the former EA head... Um, I won't even be bothered to name him because he's an asshole. He's a he's the person that when he was at EA said developers were that didn't put microtransactions in their games were too were stupid and idiots. Yes, and I had to apologize for that. He only got, had to apologize because he said what he actually felt, and people turned around and went, "You're a fucking asshole." <laughs> yeah, pretty much. And he's proved that he's a fucking asshole because. Um, this is him. This is all, well, no, maybe not all him. Uh, you know, the board of directors, all of them, should, you know, take themselves out the nearest exit, fire themselves, and put other people in charge. Because a bunch of monkeys could do a better job than what you've done. In fact, I, if Unity dies this year, I wouldn't be surprised. That's how bad this has got. Yeah. Unfortunately, I don't think it will die because there is a lot of games that use the Unity engine. The problem is this. The only companies that could actually afford to take the hit that they're only, we're going to explain and what Unity have actually done. But the companies that have that can afford to take the hit that this would cause mm. probably ain't going <laughs> to probably have the will have the money to pay lawyers to turn around to Unity and kick them in the ass. Because we're talking about um, well, I mean, Genshin's companies one like yeah. Mihoyo, Mihoyo, Mihoyo Genshin, Genshin Impact, uh, Activision Blizzard with Hearthstone. Yeah. Um, like these companies that yeah could just literally take this 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 impact to their. Well, it's not Activision their... Blizzard anymore. It's Microsoft. I know. But we know what I'm saying is no, no. we know what Microsoft can do. In While the we do believe the deal is actually going to go through, it's not done yet. It's not done yet. So yeah. technically, it is still Activision Blizzard. Okay. Yeah. Technically. Anyway, but like. Put it this way, right? Um, the people behind Slay the Spire. Yeah. Metacritic. Uh, is it Metacritic? Critical? Or whatever it's called? Yeah, something like that. Um, they put out a response. And they even put in the response. We never respond to anything. This is how badly you fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh my god. On, 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 online, seeing people's response to it is just like... You've done fucked up. You. This is like the biggest fuck up. Like this makes what Watsy did at the beginning of this year look like a fucking tea party. They've literally just decided to torpedo their entire business model. The thing is, uh, it's not even. It's not even that. It, what it is is like you've now destroyed any faith that developers have in you. Yeah. 
Like, like, why would any of the developers want to use your engine if this is what you're going to try and pull? Yeah. So, um, details of what happened. Last week, Unity, in all their oblivion, uh, obligatory glory and intelligence, and I'm being highly sarcastic with this, decided to change their terms and conditions. Oh, there's the asshole. There he is. What is um, it? Uh, Rickitalio. Oh, Rickitalio. 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 Rickitalio, who used to again be part of EA. So you know, this e -E. is the type of this is the type of asshole failing upwards. Hasn't got a fucking clue of the market that he's in. Dickhead. This is the type of person we're talking about. Oh, this is that's, yes. So, he sold and he shot. By the way, he shot. He sold shares. He sold 50 k worth of shares before the before piece. the announcement. As if he knew that shares would st would tank. Insider trading um, vibes. So, I mean, other... allegedly. But anyway, yeah. so <laughs> Unity decided to change their terms and conditions, and basically stated that after a certain threshold, you would be charged for each install of a game, not each purchase each install. So, if for example beginning of this year I got a new PC mm. I reinstalled some games mm. the companies that are of those games that I reinstalled would be charged under these rules would be charged again. And here's the, here's the kicker. This, these new terms and conditions were going to be retro active. Aye, so it's like any of the older games. Yeah, any old... If you had, like, for example, um, Subnautica, with, like, it's 6.1 million installs, would owe Unity so much money, it would bankrupt the company. It would bankrupt the developers. And so that was the initial announcement. <laughs> That's the... Uh, there's an editor's there's, note on the announcement, by the way. Yeah. We are sorry. Um, uh, so, so needless to say, the gaming development community, on mass, as a whole, without exception, like this is this is this is from the biggest of the big to the smallest of the small, turned around and went, "Fuck you! We're not using your engine then." Yeah, pretty much. Which, for those of... For some, I mean, I feel sorry for the ones that are like two, three years in development on Unity, their game, because, dear God, the amount of work that has literally just gone down the toilet because of this decision by a, per, by a company that has no realm of realism in it. I think Hades uses the Unity yeah. engine. Yeah, we get Hades! Um... But yeah, that, so this has been across the board, without exception, rejected as no, this can't, no, this is wrong. We're not going to accept this. We're not going to agree to these terms. We're going to, every game we've bought, <laughs> every game we've made on Unity up till now, we're going to use the old terms of use because that's what we agreed to when we paid you. Yeah. And um, we're just not going to use Unity again unless you revert back. And that's that's the best case scenario for Unity. Mm. Right? That's the best case. No one has actually said, oh yeah, we'll, we'll put up with this. No, everyone said, no, you revert back to what it was before. Mm. Right now. Some have gone, it doesn't matter if you revert back to what it was before. We're going to just cut ties completely and go to something else. Because here's the thing, Unity. There are other game engines. Yes, Unity is one of the cheapest ones to develop and one of the best easily used. But if it's if it is the diff if it's if it's the difference to maintaining your company as a viable business, yeah, I think some people will look at Unreal and go, yeah, it may I be think, a little bit harder, but I'm willing to put up with it. I think Unreal Engine Five is actually they're actually like I mean if no. I was if I was because it, it's epic isn't it epic oh yeah oh if I was yeah, epic. epic I'd be like yeah just come, come I'd even Ep lower the lower lower the price of my engine I would undercut I would fucking undercut it Unity yeah, right now just I would like, just let you go and be like, I would just you let you go here you go here here's a here's a 
Oh, uh, Hades! No, Hades uses Unreal Engine. All right, yeah, but Hades anyway, uses... the point the point stands though. Like there were there were some games that were made on Unity that are uh, that are by very small companies, very small developers, probably like, sometimes even two to five people, and they've had like. For, for, um, yeah, there you go. They were gonna charge. Basically, you would pay twenty cents over every install. For every install. Yeah. So if you had a hit game, yeah. <laughs> oh, here's here's the best. Th- here's another thing, right? This was this announcement was then combined with the worst communication display I've seen out of actual governments. <laughs> governments are notorious for lack of communication. Mm. This was worse. Yeah. Like holy shit! They first they went. Oh no, it's not. It's not gonna be. Uh, because people started asking, like, well, what about bundles? We don't get any money from the bundles. What about free free di- giveaways? Mm. We don't we don't get money from that. We don't get any money from that. If someone gives a free giveaway, what happens? What about what about Game Pass? What about if our games on Game Pass? We don't get much money from that. Yeah. And Unity went well, went from. Yes, you will be charged to. No, you're not. You'll be charged. Yes, you will be charged to. No, you won't be charged. Yes, you will. No, you won't. Yes, you will. No, you won't. Yes, you will. In the space of days, hours, even like the this was a policy made by this fucking asshole. Yeah, this is about the um, the indie scene basically going. With, nah, we're not doing that. <laughs> this fucking asshole who needs to be fired. Literally, every single person who agreed to this needs to be fired. For real, N- no ifs, ands, or buts. Because if because this was n- literally nearly taking a gun and shooting yourself in the head, bad decision. It is such a suicidal for a company's decision to literally undermine the entire user base of your product. That's like McDonald's basically saying. Um, we're going to now charge you for opening the door to a McDonald's. Oh no! It basically what it is. It's like, oh, um, you've bought a Big Mac, okay, right? But you bought you've bought a Big Mac every week for the last twelve years. Yeah. So we're gonna add twenty. We're gonna add another twenty cents for every McDonald's. or twenty p for, for every every ma- So every time you come in. There's an extra 20p every time. Yeah. And it's just like... Yeah, no. 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 That, that, no that's not I s- It's just... And also, like, they would say, Oh, don't worry. Because some, com- some, of, the, some of the developers went, Well, how? what happens if someone reinstalls? You say, We won't be charged if it's a reinstall. How will you know it's a reinstall? Oh, just trust us. We'll know. After the after what you ju- after the bombshell that you dropped, without warning, yeah. without any, it's like, and the, this is the thing is, is like, people are finding out, developers are finding out like different terms and conditions from other developers who have been asking Unity because the public announcements are absolutely garbage non burgers. Yeah. They literally have no information. It is a cult. It is a public clusterfuck on an absolute epic proportions that would make Activision Blizzard go, well, I'm glad I'm not those guys. <laughs> uh, uh, so, so as is tradition with uh, us and every single gaming com- in the gaming sphere... Um, Unity, do you want to hire us? We will be... We will be the people that tell they'll tell you why your, your, your uh, idea is bad. We will be the people that just said, maybe we shouldn't do this. Maybe we shouldn't do this. And this is why. <laughs> maybe we shouldn't. Um, we would have cost you less than the amount of money that you're about to lose through lost sales, non-contracts that you would have gotten otherwise, and just absolute... Fucking! I mean, the first thing we would say is the first condition would be uh, the CEO. He has to go. He has to go. He has to go now. And um, 
the less he says while kick we while we will I mean granted I will I will gladly pick him up by the scruff of his neck and kick him out the door if need be. Uh he's the type he honest to God, he is the type of asshole that I do not like at all in any sense of the word. It's just a, he's just a smarmy all he cares about is like he doesn't need the thing is is like he's the type of like CEO that takes all the money for other people's work. Yeah, pretty much. Which is literally what this policy is. Where they we want more money for doing absolutely fuck all. Yeah, a lot of um doesn't help that their other the one of their um other executives is from a company that is known for sh- uh, sending malware into uh in the, with our games um, yeah so right. the reason why I haven't spoken much about this as well is, is because well, I've while, off on my rant. while he's going to open his rant is mainly because I had my personal stuff going on while all this was happening so a lot of this I had no idea what was going on so uh, other than the fact that I knew that Unity had done some bullshit I didn't really know what the bullshit was or how bad it was or how bad it was so, oh it's no, bad it's, it, it, it's, it's bad um, but Unity have come out and uh, apologised. <laughs> Unity has apologised to developers for confusion, confusion and angst uh, caused by its proposed new pricing structure that sought to change game creators a fee charge. Sorry, I said change there. Game creators a fee every time their game was installed, promising that changes will be made but without suggesting that it would pull away completely from Im- implementing uh, the much criticised plan. So basically, they've said sorry, and there are going to be changes, but they haven't said they're going to. Um, they're not walking back. From, they're not walking back from it, basically. Which, um, which is fine. Congratulations, you've now signed your death warrant. You um, have a ch- you had a choice. You had a choice to either you know take lose a limb, and hopefully your CEO to walk out as well, or suffer a slow, painful agonizing death of just constantly trying to squeeze more and more out of the less and less people you have which will then cause even more people to leave and uh, causing you to have even less to the point of them um, I'm not like I, I'm not surpri- the one this isn't really surprising that that one company a like gaming company would try would yeah. try this right but I've got to admit this is probably the stupidest idea that I've ever seen actually implemented into the into the industry. This is the stupidest one. Yeah, like this isn't because, even one of those because things. it creates the oxymoron of a of a game developer not wanting their game to be too successful. Yeah, or either that, or it's like like, like you want because. Unity, it, they they don't actually make games. Unity, they just have a no. It's the engine. They just make it's, engines. Yeah, no, no, right? you right, right. The Unity engine. So yeah, they, the company makes the Unity engine. I think they do a couple of other things, but their primary primary thing is so the the thing that the makes the most money. They, yeah, is licensing this this yeah. uh, thing out. You've now literally just told every developer don't license our to not license your engine. So now. Because to be fair, I think a lot of a lot of indie developers use the Unity engine yes. mainly because it's cheaper. So now, basically, it's you've easy basically to... told all those indie developers to go to Epic. Yeah, that's what you've just done. Yeah, and even like, even if they had that person to tell them, no, this is a bad idea, and the reasons why. To just to even think of this. This is, is incredibly this is the, stupid. This is the CEO who said any any game developer that didn't monetize their game to the fullest was a fucking idiot. This, so this quite generally is the, the most stupid thing I've ever heard of. It is the, the most industry. self-inflicted. And dumb we've talked idea. a lot about Activision Blizzard. Yes. This is the stupidest. This is worse. This is the most I mean absolute brain dead thing I've ever heard of. Why did nobody why has no because there had to have been somebody. Oh, there I, guarantee has to have been, I guarantee why you there has will nobody, be people. The people that actually program 
mm. Unity. The, the people that actually do the nuts and bolts, the, the make the actual game engine, that do all the upgrades, that knows how Unity works, etc., etc., etc. The people who actually deal with the actual product will have turned around and gone, this is the stupidest idea in the fucking world. Well, I mean, granted, they wouldn't have done that because they would have been fired, but... In the most Along polite, the a polite, uh, polite wording of this. This is a fucking dumb idea. This is going to go badly. It's going to alienate you. Everyone is going to jump ship, and you're going to kill the company. That is what they will. That's what the what they would have been saying, right? The problem is, is that the people in control are the people that don't understand the fucking market that they're fucking in. Just like every other fucking. Terrible this isn't, this decision. Isn't, like this isn't even a this isn't even a, a situation where you need somebody to say yeah this is a bad idea. This is a situation where you shouldn't even think this is a good idea at all. Yes. This is that's how this is how yes. stupid it is. But unfortunately, the CEO is a I want all the money. Yes. I want all the money, and you can't tell me no. Like. So yeah, this is a this is a Bobby. This is worse than Bobby Kotick. Yeah, this is worse than Bobby. This Kodak. is even worse because at least Bobby Kotick can kind of understand that. Like, because Bobby Kotick is the reason. And as much as I hate to admit this, Bobby Kotick is the reason we got Overwatch One. Yes, <laughs> he, he, he greenlit green Overwatch he, One. He well, no, it wasn't that. Basically, he 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 can They cancelled Titan. Yeah, and basically he saw like the character designs, and he basically said, "Just make a game with those characters in it." And that's that's how we got Overwatch. That's how it started. That's yeah. That's that's how we got Overwatch. Um, again, he he didn't uh, he didn't exactly say oh make Overwatch, but what I'm saying is if he hadn't have done keep those characters Doesn't and make a game, make we a game probably wouldn't have got Overwatch. Oh, have you heard about the uh, the, ho- the like? You, you know the one thing going for Overwatch is its law. Yeah. Have you heard the foo-ha over the ages? I have stayed away from Overwatch this way, for a while now. The ages make no fucking sense with the law. I do know that there's some people that are like younger than they should be and yeah. older than they should be. Yeah. Um, especially considering like they don't even look that the old. Age, the age <laughs> gap between Farah and Mercy is a lot larger than any of the pictures make out. And yeah. I don't mean... And I know there's law be- behind Mercy looking as young as she does because of what she does yeah but she's she doesn't look like there's an old picture of Mercy of the old Overwatch where there's a clearly late teen Fair. Mer- Mercy yeah and a, a little kid Fair. and a I would say no more than pre-teen early like 13 max yeah fairer and yet there's like a 20 year difference apparently <laughs> Oh, okay. <laughs> right, you know, Kieko is supposed to have grown up with the brothers. Yes. Genji and Hanzo, yeah. right? And you know some of the old pictures that they've shown? Yeah. Which are canon. They've said it's canon. Mm. Show them all as kids. Yeah. Apparently there's like a 40-year gap between them. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's just for it's like... Okay. Oh, my God. The blizzard. Man. Anyway. Back on to back onto Unity because uh, I've not I've not finished swinging in its bat. It's yeah. Back to Unity. It's this is this is, yeah. It's just so dumb. It it's is unbelievably dumb. It is corporate suicide. It's that's what I it is. Like, you know that you know that moment in in movies. It, it's especially when somebody says something really dumb that everybody else just like face palms. Yeah. That's what this feels the f- like. Here's the thing. I can guarantee you the CEO is probably having a massive hissy fit because he doesn't understand why everyone's so angry about this. <laughs> He's probably in his office going, why is so everyone so angry? Why do we have to reverse this? This was my idea. I'm a... Blah, 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 crying like a little <laughs> fucking baby. Like, because he's because these these CEOs, these fucking assholes like him, they are so full of themselves, they don't even know reality if it came up to them and slapped them in the face. Probably. Um, just, just fire him. I don't care how. I don't care how much it costs. Get rid of him because he is killing your company. As well as a few others of the board of directors. Just get rid of them. If need be, if need be, the entirety of the Unity staff go on strike until they resign. Yeah, just, yeah. Don't be like that. Because, let's be honest, what's the worst they can do? Kill the company? They've already fucking done it. Well, I mean, they've ruined the reputation. Exactly. Unless they go, and in which case you can kind of maybe rebuild. 
Um, That's what I'm saying. What's the worst? What's the worst these these this CEO and the, this board of directors can do? What can they do? Close the company down? They've technically done it. Mm. <laughs> All you know. Yes. Um. So you know, like the the tr- the fact that they thought that. <laughs> I mean, I mean, clearly they would have thought, well, there's going to be some blowback to this. Yeah. Do you want to hear the? Um, do you want to hear the? Uh, the basically the apologise. Yeah. Let's go. The let's apology. see. Let's 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 hear the um, nothing, nothing so burger on on, um, on a tweet. As always. Um, they the uh, we have heard you. We apologise for the confusion and angst. The runtime fee policy we announced on Tuesday caused. We are listening, talking to our team members, community customers and partners and we'll be making changes to the policy they will sh- we will share an update in a couple of days <clears throat> he is right first things first all that talking with your partners and staff and um fellow and other developers that should have happened before the announcement you know just like what should have done that secondly you're only doing this because so many so many developers have turned around and gone, nah, goodbye. bro, goodbye. <laughs> that uh, you've realised you wouldn't have any income at all, which means your lovely little gravy boat of a CEO paycheck I'm trying to think. would be fucking gone. I'm trying to think. Are there any what big games use the Unity? Like AAA games use the Unity engine. Uh, there, I know. There is I know. A few. I know. The Division used it. Yeah, I know that. That's one that I absolutely know because you can't skip the Unity thing. I mean, did Crisis? No, Crisis didn't. They used no, the, Cry uh, Engine. Cry Engine. Um, the the thing is, though, you'd be surprised how many gaming, how many actually use ga- yeah. use Unity. It is yeah. a lot of um, free games as well. Mm. A lot of fan games use Unity, and it is like. So, what happens if like a fan made game? <laughs> I mean there are two fan made games I don't have the Unity but there are two fan made games that have been downloaded from Steam a lot mm. both and both both VTubers yeah Hollow um, Idol Showdown and Hollow Cure oh, okay, yeah. which have had a lot of people downloading them I downloaded Hollow Cure no, it's fun. It's a nice. It's a good. A good uh, I like vampire, vampire survivors. It's a so. good vampire survivor clone. It's a really good vampire yeah. survivor clone. So my friend, my friend, um, he's done everything on vampire survivors. So he's, he's got everything. Yeah. And I was just like, well, I mean, there's Hollow Girl. It's basically vampire survivors, but I'm an v- anime but VTubers. But VTube is an anime girl, and he was just like, okay, okay. <laughs> so now he's playing that. Yeah. Because he just loves vampire survivors and anything like it. So he's just like, well, there, there you go. Yeah. There you go. There you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's free. Yeah. What, what, what more it's you, free, and it also want? has a uh, house building. Yeah, it has house building, which I actually <laughs> generally, I've generally done more house building than I have actually playing the game. <laughs> it's addictive. But anyway, the point stands. Like, what? What about free games? Um, apparent. Like only. Like, what if you did a? What if it was a charity game? Hmm. Only rec- certain recognized charities by Unity would be acceptable would be exempt from the charge and I'm like are you fucking so uni, uh, UNICEF <laughs> are you fucking kidding me <laughs> this is like like who I want to know who in the uh, like I want to know who is in charge of the PR department because I guarantee you the people that are actually working in the PR department are having an absolute fucking awful time well, I mean, and they probably they're definitely working overtime. They're, they're definitely, definitely, working, definitely overtime. working overtime. But also, I can guarantee you that pe- like, there will be some people in the PR department that saw this announcement being discussed and potentially being rolled out and going, oh, fuck. I would be like, you know what? If I was in the PR department, I'd be like, right, you are paying me. You are you are double paying me for this. <laughs> All right. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to work it, my magic. Put it this way, right? Because <laughs> obviously this announcement would have been discussed in in house before the announcement, so if I was in the PR department and I was like this was starting to come through, I would have literally been saying, "Okay, when's the announcement going to be made?" Right, everyone, you're not allowed to leave. 
that you, you are you, yeah you're not going on holiday there's no holidays if you've got no, can, no, yeah, if you've got plans cancel them we why? need to, we need to why? work on this because uh, <laughs> I've seen I know what's going out on that day and I can see the shit storm from a mile away like that that's how disattached from reality these fucking corporate fucking leaders like your Bobby Coddicks, like this fucking dickhead for, uh, at Unity, like the yeah. leadership at EA, like, Ac- like well, Activision Blizzard, Microsoft, Ubisoft, Ubisoft, Konami, etc., et Square Enix, etc., etc., etc. They are so disattached from the actual market they're in that they don't even know the repercussions and the thing is they, it doesn't matter if they don't know because they won't be affected by it anyway the Ubisoft could fucking collapse tomorrow mm. it could go bankrupt tomorrow and this asshole will not because I'm, I'm, I'm refused to give say his name now because no 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 attention to him because mm. he's gonna get fuck he won't get any of the fu- pushback he won't get any of the the, the um, backlash It'll be the poor swords at the bottom rungs of the ladder that'll get all the ha- all the shit on them. Well, no, most likely. I think uh, just re- not that long ago, Unity fu- like yeah, let go five hundred people oh, to, to help like, us grow. Yeah, to help grow, which is t- but what? <laughs> <laughs> I've never understood that. We're going Seriously, to grow. Seriously, seriously, hire me, hire me, hire us because one, we will cost probably not even half the amount you're paying the CEO. And two, we will actually come up with better ideas than let's just you know let's just kill fire our, a bunch of people. No, no, we'll come up with better <laughs> ideas than we'll fire a bunch of people and then decide to torpedo our entire business model. I think I think Unity could hire a duck with a bow tie and it, it, it'd actually perform better. An empty chair would do a, would perform better. Yeah, but I prefer to see a duck with a bow tie. A dog. Or a dog, yeah, a dog with a tie and some glasses. Yes, mm. would we'll do better. And a top hat. Would do better because all it would do is sit there and bark and woof and want strokes and cuddles and mm. belly rubs, and it would improve morale. It's been proven. Yeah, it, it does actually do that. <laughs> Which is it's like, yeah, duh. <laughs> Dogs in the workplace actually improve morale. Well, no fucking shit. Unless, unless obviously you're allergic to dogs, and then, and then you're kind of fucked. Or you don't like dogs, and then but then you kind of. Mm. Yeah, yeah, you just find something to help promote, improve morale for those people. Yeah, you know, you know like ice cream. Exactly. Everybody loves ice cream. Yeah. I don't have from dairy people, but and vegans. Vegans don't like ice cream. <laughs> well, there are, the thing is, there are workarounds. There are other things that you can put in place to help those people's morale. Yeah, I know. Exactly. Yeah. But I'd, yeah, I'd no, be terrible. My, my point is this, right? We could probably be not even hot. I'd probably say we are, we could probably we would probably be like twenty percent, a fifth mm. of this guy's fucking wages. I include his bonuses in this as well, by the yeah. way. Um, so it potentially even be a tenth, mm. but we would we would cost a vast amount less than this asshole at CEO, and we would do a better job because we wouldn't do something that would torpedo our entire <laughs> fucking <laughs> our entire business model. <laughs> our entire income has been their entire income has been torpedoed by the fucking select few of a bunch of rich. Entitled, unintelligent, uneducated, lack of knowledge, and fucking unrealistic, self centered pricks who have done nothing at all for the betterment of that company. Probably. So yeah, Unity just fire your entire board. Yeah, just fire them and get get people. Get rid of them. I mean, that's the problem. The, the, the AAA gaming industry is. There's too is, many people. Uh, to be honest, business, current the current state of businesses as a whole. There's are too many people in high positions, not because they're good at their job, but because either they knew someone or they failed upwards. Yeah, that's true. Or they just don't. They just don't know what they're doing. And they haven't got a fucking clue what they're doing. And, then, and the thing is, right, you don't necessarily have to know what you're the company in a sense. But if you have to n- have the humility and the um, self-awareness to know that and seek advice from people who do know mm. what the fucking hell the market's like <laughs> in the, what they're doing. And unfortunately, these fucking assholes are so full up their own asses they can see the sunshine. Yeah. 
So, so yeah, yeah, Unity Unity decided to literally kill itself because mm -hmm. unless they walk it back all the way, they are dead. This is going to be a slow, <laughs> horrible, painful <laughs> death, but it, it will happen. I mean, I mean, yeah, they basically just uh, take a shotgun and put it to the chest. Yeah, That's and, then, <laughs> and and no one, no one in that board of directors turned around and went, "No, this is a fucking dumb idea." <laughs> Because all they did is look at, oh, well, potential profits would go up to this. Okie dokie. Right. Um, you know, okay. So, elsewhere. <laughs> We're going to talk about stuff. Um, we had the Nintendo Direct, didn't we? Yes, we had the Nintendo Direct, which we are going to um, look at right I'm now. I'm trying to think, was there any... Wasn't any... There wasn't anything massively announced... I think the biggest um, one was Mario RPG. Is getting a remake. Yeah, but we'll uh, we'll get to that because we'll go we'll go for oh, a remaster. Because uh, there really wasn't much for a Nintendo Direct. I mean, there was a um, bit, but there wasn't loads. I think we're still on the lull after the release of um, Twilight Kingdom. Yeah. Is it Twilight Kingdom? Uh, Tears, Tears, Tears of the, of the Kingdom. Kingdom. That's the one. Um, right, so Twilight the September 2023 Nintendo Direct, we had uh, we had the Princess Peach Showtime game, which actually looked pretty cool. cool. Yeah, it looked actually pretty cool. Uh, she had the, the the basically show it's, that it's like a play. Yeah, yeah, it's like a theatre uh, like uh, that's theater. been taken over, and Peach can have different costumes which depending have different on what, depending on what the play is that yeah. you're going to. Which 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 will break up the gameplay, make it interesting and. It does like a, look like a cool concept. So anyone that's you know big Peach, Princess Peach fans, you look like potentially we've got a, you got a good game in your hands. Uh, the F Zero ninety nine, which has been released. released. Yeah, I've watched people stream it. It looks really really fun. Um, I just need to see if my Nintendo works because <laughs> it's been a while. Yeah, you know the Switch will work. You just need to update it. Yeah, you know, I just have to update it. Um, Detective Pikachu. We saw some Detective Pikachu. Pikachu stuff. Yeah, which um, I think is again, it's a remaster. No, 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 this is a sequel. It's a sequel. Yeah, this is okay, a sequel. Okay, never mind. Because <laughs> this is Detective Pikachu Returns. Yes. So it is a sequel. Uh, Mario vs. Donkey Kong. Yes, that, that. Uh, remaster, uh, like, a, up, like an upgrade to mm -hmm. the Wii U game that was released, I think. Yes. Or the 3DS uh, game that was released. Paper Mario. Uh, yeah. Basically. There was um, actually actually there was quite a few remasters announced, or remasters or re-releases. Luigi's Mansion Two HD, which I'm not surprised at because they re-released Luigi's Mansion One. Yeah, and obviously you got Luigi's Mansion Three, which is on the Switch, so it makes sense to. Yeah, it was eventually. Bring out. Um, we had uh, the Splatoon Three expansion the pass, single player, the single player sort of RPG thing. Yeah, it's like a tower mode. I literally, I saw it and I went, is this just Platoon Nia? <laughs> yeah, because it's a lot of uh, whites in that, isn't it? There's yeah. not much colour in it. Which is weird for a Platoon game. Cause yeah, it's, but I think that's the point. I, I know it's the point. Um, but when you're so used to Splatoon being so colourful and vibrant, yeah. and then all of a sudden, like, it's jarring. I mean, don't get me wrong, I know it's deliberate, but it can still be jarring. We had um, another code recollection. There are two remasters. Yeah, from um, uh, I think it was the, the Super SNES. Yeah, oh, from the Super SNES. The Super sure NES. The Super the, the SNES, basically. The no, that's Super Mario RPG. Oh, hold on. Uh, that's oh, the the, the, the DS, DS, the, the DS, DS and games. Wii game. Sorry, I, I was reading the wrong thing. Um, that that's coming out in January. Uh, Super Mario RPG is coming out. Uh, this, uh, Super Snares Classic, which we already knew about, but they actually showed more stuff off. It showed you it like actual gameplay and a new like, combat a new mechanics, mechanics they're introducing. Um, Super Mario uh, Wario Wario Wear Move It, which is a game I couldn't give a shit about. Um, <laughs> it's more Wario mini games. That's all you need to know. Yeah, the the final Mario Kart booster pack. Yeah, coming out. Uh, we saw some new amiibos, which was Legend of Zelda, the new Legend of Zelda, 
Xenoblade Chronicles 3 and the Super Smash Bros. Sora. Sora, yeah. So in every single Smash Brothers character now has a amiibo. amiibo. which means we can actually start fully getting ready to do our uh, our tournament. Yeah, the more money than sense tournament. Uh, yep. Yeah. The, uh, the Tomb Raider 1, 2 and 3 remastered. Which actually look pretty good, actually. Yeah, it looks really cool. Uh, so I'm probably going to get them, if I'm honest. They're coming to the PlayStation as well. Mm. So proper Tomb Raider. Not the not the new fucking Crystal Dynamics <laughs> box. Um, we saw some more Prince of Persia, but nothing the Lost actually Browns. new. Nothing really but new. Nothing. They, sh- they showed more like monsters. Yeah, <laughs> that's all I can that's think all. of. Um, although to be fair, I think even when they revealed it, they showed basically everything that you can do. Yeah, there's uh, not much. Left. It's just a ca- it's a Castlevania. Clone. It's a Castlevania clone with the Prince of Persia. Yeah. There you go. Uh, Trombone Champ. Yes, Trombone Champ's coming to the Nintendo Switch. Which, you know, I'm like, wait, this wasn't already out on the Switch? I know. This is a game that screams to be on the Switch. Uh, but yeah, it's, it's coming on October 26th. Uh, you can do four player. And it's going to, like, if you do turn it, it's going to sound awful. Yes. It's, it's, it's going to sound awful. It's going to sound awful. Uh, Dave the Diver. Awful. Is coming, which is a really good game. So that on the that on the move, yeah, that's that's next month as well. Unicorn Overlord looked really fucking cool. Oh yeah, the art style on that is that was like I want to say, um, it's not Octopath Traveler. It's um, uh, Fire Emblem Cross with Dragon's Crown. Yes, that that is what I want to say. It looks really good. Yeah, it looks really good. We got the the Saga Emblem, Emerald Beyond, which is an, another of the Saga games. I don't, I've never played them. I have no idea. Um, Among Us showed us the new map. Yeah, it's a fungal map. A fungal map. Um, Song of Nuru, or Nunu, sorry, which is a League of Legends story, another League of Legends game, which also another League of Legends game, uh, a Bandle Tale. Uh, again, I do not know what these are. <laughs> For I do not know much about League of Legends. Um, I want to say, Riot, you really need to start selling your freaking games more because you've had quite a few come out uh, with little fun f- fanfare from yourself. And I'm like, what the hell are you doing? Some of these are actually pretty good. Hmm. What is uh, wrong with you? Battle Crush, uh, which was a 30 player. Oh, yeah, 30 player, uh, uh, 30 player Battle Royale melee isometric game yeah something like that uh, Contra re-release yeah um, the original Contra mm-hmm. have been remastered and you can have four player on it as well that is just literally which is really cool. chaos Eastwood Octopia o- Octopia sorry which is a DLC for the Eastwood game yeah uh, uh, which you can actually if you buy the DLC you can actually instantly go into it we got uh, Spy X Anya Operation Memories which is basically you are Anya doing Slice, slice of, of Life, life stuff, stuff which I'm like wait you've got the Spy X Family license and this you decide to the thing is with this. Spy X Family I think really this is this is the game that you want if you True. like a Spy X Family you don't I, you don't want a big action game for Spy X Family because it's not a big action thing it's it does have its action points. Yeah, I suppose. But it, it's not a it's not like a battle manga or anything. Oh no, like no, I know that. But I'm like I would have thought like RPG maybe, but anyway, that's that's just um, me spitballing. I think that was really about it. Nothing oh, other than the um Paper Mario Yes, Paper Mario Adult, fit, which is a remaster. Which is the remaster of, of the, the Wii game? I wanna say it was on the Wii. Is that for the Wii or the GameCube. I want to say GameCube, but either way. GameCube. Yeah, GameCube. Paper Mario. Every, there, there are people who love that game so much, so... Yeah. It was, it was a good Nintendo Switch. It was a good Nintendo Direct. Uh, like I said, no big, massive surprises apart from... I'd probably say the biggest one was Paper Mario. Yeah, I wasn't expecting um, that. So... Overlord U- Unicorn looked good. Yes. Oh, Unicorn Overlord, sorry. Unicorn Overlord looks, looks good. Looks really the good. graphics, but the thing is, oh, the art style on that is gorgeous. Yeah, it was. Absolutely. Um, good. So, it'll be interesting to see that you can see those uh, come out. Um, and then we went, then we had the Sony State of Play. The State of Play, which didn't have as much, no. but the State of Plays never really do. Not unless I'm they noticed. go into either a deep dive or they've got something 
absolutely massive they want to release. Yeah, so we had a, a very quick thing of Baby Steps, which is the new game from the guy that did the Getting Over It. Yes. Um, you can go to hell and you can go to hell and die. Yep, yeah, you can you can you you can do that, you horrible, horrible person. Um <laughs> We just this, don't like those games. This this looks like it's just another one of those ones where well, it's, it's, like, it's a rage rage inducing game. Yeah, it's gonna be a rage inducing game and that's that's fine. If you like that sort of thing, this is sure. this is for you. Um we then went into the Ghostbusters VR game, which is which, the Rise of the Ghost Lord, which yes. actually looked really cool. It looked really cool. My only issue is, obviously, to properly get the best experience out of it, you need three other people with Yeah, you're going to need four VR. people. I'm hoping there's so. going to be cross-play, because that's I a would lot. Think, I think there's going to be cross-play. Wouldn't surprise me, anyway. Uh, but it does look actually really good. Um, um, you get to, like, run around with the backpack and the thing and yeah. the, 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 uh, the EKG don't cross the streams don't cross the streams throw uh, out the ghost trap yeah. it's great it looks really really cool yeah and uh, it looks actually really good I like the fact that they went with the 80s style of the yeah. monsters and, no, the, like the, and the little Stay Puft guys from the, the new movies yeah the mini Stay Puft um, I'm, I'm just cool. hoping they do the trope of that every Ghostbuster game should have which is you have to fight the state puff from the, <laughs> yes. the state building. Yes. That just has to happen. Uh, yeah, it does now. It does now. Okay. I'm looking forward to watching people play that game. Yeah. Um, after that, we had Resident, the Resident Evil 4 VR mode which uh, look, show off, which, which is really cool, really which is cool. probably what I'm going to try and steal your... My, yeah, my your, PSVR 2. Yeah, 4, because I'm going to probably give that a go. Uh, it looks really cool. It does. Um, the fact that you can actually like properly parry with a yeah. knife as well, yeah. and I'm like, like, not how, you, but like properly, like parry instantly shoot. Yeah. <laughs> don't don't wait for the animation to finish. Just ping pong. Uh, but we also got the show off of separate ways, which is the Ada missions. Yeah. For, There's been people um, complaining about uh, the voice actress for Ada. And I'm like, I don't really understand that. Yeah, I'm like, I think it is because it's a different person than. It is a different person, but it's also a different person for Leon. Yeah, it is. But also, it's like, um, I, f the Actman explains it much better. But it's it's almost like there's bits of of her voice dialogue which are fucking spot on, fantastic, yeah. and there's others that are just a bit of, hmm? uh, and it sounds like more like the voice director. Yeah. more than the actual actress yeah. is the issue there are some times where Ada kind of gets it's the way she says things and like how she says it um, it's it pulls you out because yeah. it's just like nobody talks like that yeah um, but again because like she also nails certain other scenes it's yeah like, how have you nailed this but not this and I'm like I do lean towards like maybe she didn't get the correct like direction and the director Possibly. didn't give her like like okay well let's try I've this got, take and that take and then I've got no I've got no problem I mean it's a minor gripe yeah. in that game it I, is a minor gripe in that game um, I've got I've got no it, problem no no it wasn't it was Bricky Bricky it wasn't yeah. Ackman it was Bricky I'm, Bricky. I'm very, very 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 sorry <laughs> Um, I've been to work that's my excuse <laughs> after that we had Avatar Frontiers of Pandora now when I first saw this when they first released this and then they showed off gameplay a little bit later on I was actually quite excited for this because I generally thought this was going to be a different this was going to be kind of like uh, Phoenix Rising not yeah. Phoenix uh, uh, Immortals Rising yeah Phoenix uh, I thought okay that but it's but it's Avatar it's on Pandora so it's going to be like a third person sort of Game. And then they showed the new stuff. It looks at this one, and it just looks Far Cry, like Far Cry, Far Cry Pandora. Avatar. Far, Far Cry Pandora. That's literally what it looks like. And I'm like, uh, and I'm like, oh, that, that's not, that's not what we what want. I want on. At all. That's not what we want. That's terrible. I don't, I don't want that. I don't want that at all. Um, but I am still going to. I'm gonna give this a chance. It looks pretty still. Because it looks pretty, and it, I could be wrong. There could be a, chat, a point where it's like, well, you can play it in first person, but you can also play it in third person. Also, in, it is Ubisoft, you know, so most also, likely no. Also, um, also they ha like we don't know if it. Well, they did say it was going to be open world as well, didn't they? Yeah, it is going to be open world. Uh, 
I'm just I'm concerned it's going to be a new another Ubisoft collector phone. Bullshit. I've got my yeah. biggest fear is that it's basically just going to be Far Cry, but but have it with an avatar skin on it. Yeah, that's my biggest worry. So we'll we'll. Um, but the thing that's got me going at the moment is the fact that like it looks like you, you basically you can just ride any animal and you can yeah. just fly around and that looks really cool. So at the moment, I'm kind of yeah I'm I'm on board at the moment because of that, but I'm gonna wait for a release and I'm gonna wait for people to review it. Yeah, we're gonna um, wait for the reviews. Now. Yeah, instead yeah. of being like yeah I'll give this a go nothing. Um, and then we had Deep Earth Collection. Oh, no, no, that's not... Nice. We had Ghost Runner 2. Yes. We had Ghost Runner 2, which was basically just a quick little trailer and more Ghost Runner. Yes. If you so like Ghost Runner 1, you, you're it's, it's going to get more... You're going to have that, but more. So what more do you want? Uh, it looks like you're going to get, like, even more abilities. Yeah, which, which, is, really, which, is, which is really Which cool. is what, you know, yeah, part of the for a sequel. After that was the Deep Earth Collection, which is the different coloured... Uh, things I, I kind of like the blue one. Yeah, I'm probably I not want, gonna buy it. I want <laughs> Sony, 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 Sony. Here, I'm gonna give you an idea. Right, it's gonna help you print money. I'm gonna give you it for free. Allow, start making custom panels. Don't even need to do pads. Or just allow other companies to do it. Yeah, or give like other company. Well, no, because then the, those other companies will get the money and not. Well, no, like, no, just you license it out. Yeah, or even, yeah, hell, license it out. Let us have customizable panels. I I want an Armored Core Six <laughs> panel. I want a Blood Bowl one. I want it. I want it to be more like ridges. Yeah. And look like an actual piece of an actual Armored Core. I, I want a I want a Blood Bowl one. That looks like uh, you know the Blood Vial. Oh god, yeah. Uh, uh, that's what I want. I want my PS5 to look like a blood vial from Blood. <laughs> <laughs> um. Uh, I mean, I do. I to be fair, I do like the colors. I'd like the, color, the, the colors are nice. I'm not going to uh, buy them. The colors <laughs> are the colors are nice, but like I say, like they're missing one of the biggest tricks. I mean, the the this sh- to be honest with you, they should have learned because you you could buy the Spider-Man two. Panels. You could buy the panels on their own. Yeah, and, then and they inst- sold out instantly. instantly. Like, just just do that. Just do that with all your games. To do it with all of them. God of War. Horizon. Horizon. Um, Spider Man. Jack and Daxter. Jack and Daxter. Final Fantasy. Just do it with everything. Mm. Just give us, give us. We want to pimp our fucking PlayStation fives. Give us you've the given, opportunity. You've given to us the, the choice of being able to take the panels off and replace them with something else. So actually, give us something. Something else to give. To the, <laughs> well, like I say, we want to pimp our PS fives. Let us pimp our PS fives. Um, after that, we got. Um, <laughs> uh, Hell Divers 2, two with fake comms with, with fake comms and like quite literally like, <laughs> see, like you don't need to sell me anymore on Hell, uh, Hell Divers 2 you just announced Hell Divers 2 you don't need to show me anything else like I'm I'm on board yeah. like you don't need to do this You you your first trailer showed the game and showed the attitude of the game it was basically Hell Divers 1 but more but third person and which third is person. like yes give me more this is great give me more this is what I want Give me more. Um, you don't need to give. You don't need to show me anymore. You've sold me. It, it's done. You didn't need to do the fake comp things. You didn't need to do all that. We're okay. You didn't need to go all full Ubisoft. Uh, we never had go full Ubisoft. a um, a trailer for Spider Man Two. They basically showed off the expanded. expanded yes, we're going to uh, get York, Brooklyn and Queens, which is, explains why Spider Man Two is as big as it's going to be. Because yeah. yeah, it's got more. It's going to be more stuff. More stuff on there. Uh, we also got the digital deluxe trailer, which gave basically it's five skins for Miles and five skins for Peter. Yeah, which um, I'm kind of disappointed because one of the best things about Spider Man, the first Spider Man game, was you could get all the costumes in game by just playing the game. And I'm like, oh, why have you done that? Well, the deluxe dish edition of, which is the one that you can download for free on um, mm-hmm. PlayStation Plus. Um, that gives you if you did download the deluxe edition, you get a load of skins. Like okay, a, a never ton, mind. Ton of skins. Never mind. I might be. Edition. I made me mistake. I mean, they, 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 the have, they have confirmed. Is, they have confirmed that there is going to be a whole a whole bunch of other skins you can get. The in-game. the main thing though is um, even though yes, you can get these skins if you get the deluxe edition. Um, you, there's still a ton of skins to get. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So, they have confirmed. They have confirmed that you can get a whole bunch of skins. Like I. I 
I'm not even gonna lie though. Just the, the, those ones, I, I do not like them. No, I'll be yeah, I'll be honest. Some there of them don't look. Uh, great. I think Miles had a couple of cool ones. He had the one with like a hood on it that yeah. looked really cool, um, and stuff like that. Which I'm, um, I've got a bad feeling that we're gonna get like a Gwen Stacy, uh, the a Spider Gwen. Gwen. Thing um, I do you know the thing. The thing is, is that because you've got like the thing is, is because unless they actually introduce Gwen Stacy in this, which they could do, mm. that they, they have ne- the first game had made no mention of Gwen Stacy, mm. and if they have, and be, the thing is, is like because Insomniac have done such a good way of introducing Miles into this mm. this their Spider-Man universe and it feels natural and not forced and and also I like I like their implementation of Miles is amazing. I, I love playing as Miles. Mm. His his uh, his 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 tool his combat tools are just so great. Um so I would I would potentially give them a chance I wouldn't instantly just reject them if they oh, introduce no, Gwen Stacy into the game. No, no, no. It's not Gwen Stacy. It's I, Spider-Gwen. <laughs> yeah, I know. But that, I think to introduce Spy, like Gwen Stacy, Spider-Gwen yes. into the game I, somehow. However, if they decide to just throw a costume and put it on Miles, <laughs> that's a no-no. <laughs> uh, but, yeah. yeah. Some of the costumes... It there. looks great. I'm going to love playing it. That's mm. all that matters. It looks good. Um... We also got the... I was actually quite surprised. The Tales of Arise is getting DLC. It is. I really like Tales of Arise. Yeah, it's, really, it's a very good game. So um, I'm mean, actually thinking of like restarting it and streaming it. Why not? Um, To do like midweeks because you know, I'm going to have a fair bit of time on my hands. Yeah. <laughs> so I might as well do something. Yeah, um, might as well. So I've got... So there's that. Um, it looked really cool. It did. Uh, got all the gang back together. So I'm like... Um, and it gives me a reason to go back on the rise. So, yes. Yeah. Uh, after that, we got the Honkai Star Rail basically release date, which is going to be October. Yes. Next month, I think yeah. it was. Yes. Which I means, want to say twenty fourth. Which, which also means that the PlayStation fans that were waiting for, that were hoping that it was going to get released in time for Kefka. <laughs> No, no. Well, Kefka was released ages ago. I know now, but like <laughs> for the love of God, it's we've been waiting for this for a while. Yeah. Oh well. Oh well. Meh. Uh, Genshin's my main thing. I'm probably going to get Honkai, but I'm not going to. I can't gonna, go in all. In I'm like not, I have with yeah, Genshin. there's no way I'm going to sink as much as I did with <laughs> Genshin. Um, it looks cool, though. I, I do look forward to it. Uh, Foam Stars, the, they basically announced the open beta for Foam mm-hmm. Stars, which yep. is. They showed off a lot of characters. They did. They no, they showed off all the characters. They showed off the eight. monster. Yeah. And, which is cool. Um, it is literally good. I like the fact that the foam can be layered up. Yeah. Which gives you a, like a height advantage in, hmm. in shooting I d- at people. I do like the, the fact that they've took the Splatoon formula and they have added to it. Added things in there to, that make it, makes it their own. Yeah. Instead of just being a Splatoon clone. Well, yeah. Because it's been a. Like, I'm generally surprised it's taken us this long to get a Splatoon clown an actual Splatoon clone not like just a cheap knockoff. yeah like an actual that like, doesn't just developer that's actually Splatoon. yeah exactly um now I'm surprised it's took took uh, so well um and especially for Sony to be the one that's yeah that's done it is weird uh but yeah it, it looks interesting it probably isn't aimed at me uh, it's not but Splatoon like I didn't I'm not really into Splatoon Splatoon. Splatoon either, yeah. So, so most but, type of games are just like yeah. you know, Splatoon is only on the Nintendo. Mm. That potentially is a very big market. Mm. So yeah, well, it'll be interesting. It looks like it ticks all the boxes for it to be a decentish game, but it depends on what happens on launch, how well it's supported, etc., etc. Yeah. Uh, and then the big one for the state of play is we got more Final Fantasy VII Rebirth uh, oh stuff. Oh my. God, did we get some we fucking got information? A lot of stuff. So we know we're going to go all the way to Nibelheim. So, so this game is going to be fucking huge. We are going. You are going to be able to be Sephiroth in the flashback. Yeah, we know that. Uh, um, so, so 
at least, and I think we're going to probably go a little bit further as well because it would, and I'll explain why. So at least we are going to have Calm Town and the flashback mm. getting across the marsh. So we, whether or not we that, did see the Megazoom, we did make see the Megazoom. Uh, so that either means getting a chocobo. Mm. Which, considering we saw them riding chocobos in the previous trailer, I think, mm. um, means that there's going to be chocobo capturing mechanic gameplay, they, they actually. Well, yeah, because they showed the chocobo racing. Yeah. We, uh, we're definitely going to the Golden Saucer. Go, so, so we've got... so Yeah, but the, the, the series of events that we're going to have is... Yeah. Calm Town flashback. Yeah. Potential chocobo, tra- tra- chocobo capture thing. Yeah. To get across the Midgar Zoom, uh, the Midgar, uh, the Marsh, the Crystal. Wait, actually, speaking of the Chugaboos, speaking of the Chugaboos, we saw the different coloured Chugaboos. Yes. And the different things that they could do. The black, we saw, was it the black one we that was the, climbing, climbing up the mountain? Yeah, we saw the black one that was climbing up, we saw the blue one that was flying, we saw the, was it the green one going over the water? Yeah. Yeah. So... You can, there, there's a possibility of Chugaboo breeding again. Yeah, potential <laughs> Chugaboo breeding. How the fuck that's going to work at this point of the game, I do not know. Um, but so we've got the we've got across across the marsh, the crystal cave, toward the path to Junyon, mm. then Junyon, yeah. then the boat trip to to Costa del Sol, yeah. then Costa del Sol, which granted is only really one thing, which is ho- bumping into the whole which is going to that's um, just going to look wrong. That's going to look weird. Um, I don't want to see that. Uh, then the path to North Corral. Yeah. Then the Gold Saucer. Yeah. Then there's the prison. Yeah. Back up to the Gold Saucer for the Chocoboo Racing. Yeah. Then to Zach's Town. Yeah. Then Cosmo Canyon. Then Cosmo Canyon. Then, then Nibelheim. Yeah. Right? And I think we're going to get Rocket Town as well. You think we're going to get my ex- Yeah, well, because my, expl- my reasoning is... If we don't go to Rocket Town, the only character that is missing from the cast is Sid. And it's wrong not to end with the entire gang there now. Yeah, that's true. So I think we're going to end with us... Ho- also, with... Because we saw Vincent in the trailer. I do not want the same situation as Red 13. Like, I don't want to get Vincent and then not be able to use him. Yeah. Like, you can't do that to me. You can't give um, me the Edgelord and not let me use the Edgelord. The prettiest boy. <laughs> the prettiest boy of prettiest boys. Um... But also, also, if you think about it, right? Ending on the tiny Bronco mm. is a good place to actually finish this because then the next game can have the massive fucking world. Yes. That you can go almost anywhere with in the tiny Bronco. Aye. Which that, most likely, that game will be... And that's a that game's either going to come out at the end of the PS5 life yeah. or the start of the, let's say, PlayStation 6. It'll be over the PlayStation 6. It'd be a, it, actually, you know, if they play the cards right and Sony played the cards right, it could be a release game. Yeah. So and that will sell gangbusters. Oh yeah, that will sell you. So <laughs> absolute gangbusters. But my the, my point being is is the tiny the ti- getting the tiny Bronco is the first real time that you can go explore the world to an extent. Yeah. Because it's it introduces the ability to get to Wutai. Uh, you can go back to um, the Chocoboo Farm. You can go back to Junyon. Yeah. You can go to a whole bunch of other places. So that being the uh, Rocket Town, the end of Rocket Town being the end of the game mm. makes sense. The problem is, is that if if it's the Nibelheim, then you have another fight with Sephiroth. Yeah. And I'm, I'm like, well, no. Wait a minute. One of the bosses was a Materia Keeper. Yeah. That's beyond Nibelheim. That's towards the... Yeah, but that, you were Sephiroth in the cloud. Oh, uh, I hope... Um, so that's, in, that's in the flashback. That's in the flashback, fine. But I want another. I want to fight with... I, what I want them to do is a round two with Materia Keeper. Hmm. No, no, I, we, we know we're going into Nibelheim. Yeah, because we get Vincent's there. Yeah, no, but so, no, no, no. Materia Keeper is at the end of the Mount Nibelheim Mountains. Yeah, no, no, no that's before, what I'm just before you we get know to... we're gonna get, we're gonna go to the, uh, uh, the mountains. Right, you're yeah. gonna go there. Right, not in the flashback. I reckon we're still gonna go there in the actual. Which game. in which case, Rocket um, Town is the natural place is, to yeah. end. 
So there is a chance that we're going to get like we're going to get to Sid. We're not going to use be able to use Sid, which I'll be very upset. Uh, but... Sid's going to be Sid's going to be the same as Res, uh, Red Thirteen because that's going to be the end of the game. But I think yeah, I think Sid's going to be the end, which means possibly the final boss could be Rufus. Yeah, I'd rather fight Rufus, Rufus than Palmer. fucking Palmer. I think you fight Palmer and then you fight Rufus with the with the Turks. Yeah, I think that's that's a good good end that's a good do you know what that could be a potentially very the ending good fight. I think the ending although actually it's come to think of it would the ending really just to put the stakes up would the ending not because we see the weapons we see ultimate emerald ruby diamond no, no no we see at least one with Tifa seeing it yeah we see um, we see emerald and I'm sure we see ruby we see the weapons because they talk about them yeah they talk the about the weapons so, so it, is the end going to be the bit where you end up in that cave and the body of Sephiroth's in the in that crystal above you. So we're talking about so so from from Rocket Town. Yeah, we're talking about this. This makes this game ridiculously big. You got to remember, it's on two discs. True. Um, we're talking about um, going back to the Gold Saucer to get the key of the Ancients, mm. Temple of the Ancients, mm. up to the Northern Continent. Mm. The 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 um this this game the, is going the, to the, take, you're the, gonna have to get a new the, place the archaeology yeah the city of the ancients Aerith's death spoilers <laughs> <laughs> that's if Aerith dies we don't know what's gonna happen right again I do mention that Sephiroth mentioned at the end of the first game that Cloud has seven seconds. And the cutscene in the original where she dies is seven seconds from Seth from appear Sephiroth appearing to killing her. Mm. It's seven seconds. Now, I have I have, I have complaints about the if we do save her or not, because there are plot important things that she has to know. But anyway, my point I being, do have, I do have a theory about this, but yeah, we'll, we'll... my point the, the, let's get we're digressing from the actual like yeah. so Temple City of the Ancients up the snowy mountain, mm -hmm. into the snowy town, mm -hmm. down into the v snowy valley, mm -hmm. and then up the the mount to, to the mountain up to the crater, mm -hmm. and then through the crater. That, the crater. that would explain why you can have all those juggle birds. That if it's that big, if it is this big, that would explain why you can you can have a juggle that flies around. Because like, if it ends in the tiny bronco, because like you said, the tiny bronco is the first time you get to go pretty much kind of all over the map there's places you still can't get to but you can pretty much go yeah well go everywhere right but if you can do all that but you there's a lot the, of stuff that even with it you can't do the issue the, the the issue they have with that is if they allow you to start exploring the tiny bronco people will want to go to wutai yeah they will want to that's do that's fine the dark, no, no, you the, can the, you can still do that you can still, have, still do that which means that is another bit added yeah like how fuck like this, how big is this game? This game this is, is the thing, We don't actually know how big this game is yet. This game is ridiculously well, big. And also, on, the title's Rebirth. Yeah. My right. So, um, yeah. What's your theory of Aerith? My theory of Aerith is right. Right. So, because the whole thing was set it ob It's obvious Aerith knows more than she's like. We don't on. really know if she knows if she, that she's going to die or anything, but. That's neither here or there. No, my my theory here is is that what if this Sephiroth, the one the one that's talking to Cloud in his head, what if that's the Sephiroth from Final Fantasy VII? Because th this whole thing that has that this this whole final the, the Final Fantasy remake yeah. is proper weird with, <laughs> with how yeah, especially also, when it comes to also, Sephiroth. There's also Zach's in it, but it looks like it's the flashback. But it isn't because it's him handing Cloud off to someone. Yeah. So it's it, in Midgar, and like the, the like, Zach never gets back to Midgar. No, he so gets Zach to can't he do gets that. to literally see what well, you can see Midgar, mm. and then is killed. Yeah. So that doesn't happen. So what happens? What if this Sephiroth that's doing this, the, like the Sephiroth that we fight at the end of remake, right? What if that's not the Sephiroth? So basically what I'm saying is there might be two Sephiroths. Oh, God. Right? So what if that's not the Sephiroth that's, like, that you're chasing in this game? Mm. How about this? It is, but it isn't. 
So this is the so what we are what we are fighting is the Sephiroth the Sephiroth that is killed and defeated in the original. Yeah. Instead of just dying, finds a way to go into another, let's say, dim- dimension. Yeah. And this is the one we're in, and he's found a way to go into his 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 his, his body. Yeah. Which is in the North Crater. Blah 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 blah. Yeah. And. It, so in other words, when I think he right because basically everything went to sh- basically everything goes to shit because he kills Aerith. Because if Aerith doesn't die, she doesn't go to the live stream, which means she doesn't get she doesn't save the she planet. doesn't save the planet, right? So what if Sephiroth's like right? Okay, so I killed Aerith, and that kind of fucked things up. So what happens if I get Cloud to save her? Because yeah. what if that's that's what he's thinking. The, the problem with and that, so is, he's pushing, he's pushing Cloud. The problem with that is to do is that Aerith clearly has the ability. Like Aerith clearly knows more than she's on to. Yeah, and it, it, this might end up being a crisscross thing where it's actually something surprises Sephiroth. <laughs> this is what I'm saying. Yeah, like, like Sephiroth yeah. has this grand plan of just yeah. like, right, they Wait, fucked so up last time and I've got a second I fucked chance. Up, I fucked up there, but he's forgetting the reason why he killed her in the first place. Yeah. Th- this sort of thing. Like, I'm I'm generally just sort of like, the only thing that makes sense to me is that this Sephiroth is, one, this Sephiroth knows what happened in the original Final Fantasy VII. Yeah. So either it is the Sephiroth from Final Fantasy VII, or it, it, it's a weird connection sort of thing. Because yeah. we've already established that, like, this is not there's the... something going on in there's this world. Different. Because this is, there's too many things happening that is different that, that, that happens in the first one. Yeah. Right. And don't, so, don't, now, don't get me wrong. None of us expected a one for one verbatim. I wasn't it. expecting the story to go so off key. That's but what like, I'm saying. The very <laughs> fact that we've killed fate. Yeah. We've at the end of the remake, we've fought fate and defeated it. Because that's yeah. what it was. That's what those ghostly figures were. That was fate. Yeah. It's why Barrett, when Sephiroth running through, didn't mm. die. So Sephiroth clearly wants a. What Sephiroth wants something to change. Sephiroth wants Cloud to do something, and like you said, seven seconds is as, how long that scene is that Sephiroth kills Earth. So, would it not make sense that like maybe this it has something to do with the original one? Like Sephiroth, this this Sephiroth is aware is the connected events. to the to the, the original aware. game, the, and so he knows that like Earth dies and saves the, the planet. Yeah. The major flaw here is, I didn't say it was smart. <laughs> I'm just saying. The major flaw here is Zephyr is already defeated by the time Aerith saves the planet. Yes. <laughs> He's defeated. Like, it doesn't. The thing is. And also. I don't really. Like, as much as, like, oh, yeah, right. So Sephiroth is. I suppose is he defeated. dies and gets. His life force goes into the life. Stream. Yeah. But the other thing is, is, like. If Sephiroth dies, but to him, Meteor is still going to hit the planet. Yeah. Right? To, to him he's like oh me it doesn't matter I've died I've, I've at least I've took the planet out so I've took the planet I mean, have I really lost I mean technically I have because... and then all of a sudden Aerith comes up with the, the with Holy is it Holy no no Holy tries to stop it but it doesn't it doesn't work, work. Oh, no, the life stream and then basically the life stream just take, basically saves the planet it. which is like and then he's like oh for fuck's sake so what if he was like oh, what and we, know, and we know with Advent Children that Sephiroth does still have an influence in that world. Yes. Basically, mainly because of all the clones and all yeah, that sort of stuff. But we do know that, like, even though Sephiroth is defeated at the end of 7, he can come back because yeah. of the different clones. Um, which is which is the whole line of, I will never be just a memory. That's yeah. what that means. It's like, I can always come back. Yeah. There are multiple ways for me to come back. I'm, um, it doesn't matter. Which is why I'm like, I do think we're going to get something to do with Advent Children at some point. Because this Sephiroth, it's, his design is exactly, exactly like Advent Children. <laughs> Advent Children. Yeah, but I I feel the Advent Children design is basically what... I mean, don't get me wrong, it's the, the best design. Yeah, I mean, no, no, no. What, what I'm saying is, is Advent Children is basically the design... They wanted Sephiroth to have in the original. Well, maybe, but obviously the but graphics. What I'm, what I'm saying is, like Cloud, although he has the same pretty much design, there are differences in his in his costume. Yeah, 
Um, Barrett's the same. Tifa's the same. There's differences in their costumes just to make them stand out a little bit better. But but they're there, right? Sephiroth doesn't. Sephiroth is exactly the same. There's mm. no differences. Yeah. So it's like, now have they done that just because? I mean, to be fair, like I wouldn't I wouldn't blame them because like that design of Sephiroth is is perfect. Like it's, you're not going to yeah, get much better. Yeah, you can't um, be. So is, why try? Is that the reason, or is there a reason? Is the reason that like and, maybe? And let's all be art. Let's all remember ourselves who the director is. Yeah, it's Nomura, and Nomura Nomura. Likes, likes to do this stuff. Yeah. Um, he, anyone who anyone who tries to make that make sense of the Kingdom Hearts law will understand what we're saying. Yeah, it's all over the place. Um, but like, is it because? Yeah, it's actually are, that Sephiroth. Yeah, it's actually that Sephiroth. Or is it because there's like, yeah, it's just like I generally really like Sephiroth, and I can't believe I'm saying that because I. I wasn't a massive as much as I did like him mm -hmm. I wasn't like oh yeah he's my favourite villain sort of thing but this Sephiroth I'm like now this is something I can get down like the, the bit where he's basically just taunting Cloud about his mother's death at oh, least that what we God. think is his mother's death at the beginning of Remake yeah, it's just like it's the fire. now this this is a Sephiroth I can get behind yeah because that was the thing that I liked about yeah, as much as everybody just basically said that Kuja was like a discount Sephiroth. No, Kuja was much more. Like, he taunted everybody. <laughs> he made fun of everybody and just, like, he was just like, yeah, yeah I'm smarter than you. Uh, yeah, but also it plays into the whole thing that Sephiroth is literally goading yeah. Cloud because he wants Cloud to get to a he, certain point. He wants Cloud to get to some point. We just don't know what that is yet. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it looked, oh, it looked so cool. I can't wait. And Final Fantasy's, like, I'm, I've literally started uh, going back into Final Fantasy 7 remake yeah. because of it because I, I haven't yet completed it on the PS5 so I'm like yep get it get it done on the PS5 are you going to do the Yuffie stuff as well and the Yuffie stuff yeah I've I'll got have three to, months I'll have to watch you do the uh... yeah when's it out February February yeah so I know it's, it's more than three months I know but like you there's a there's a certain event in December <laughs> that takes up a lot ah, of time. It takes, it takes up a lot of stuff. <laughs> so yeah, um, um, I, think, I think that was it. Yeah, that was the last of it. That was that that was but yeah. Final Fantasy Rebirth looks amazing. I generally generally I can't believe I'm like I'm gonna get stuck in this game. I'm gonna get lost and I'm just not gonna talk to people. Yeah, probably. Um, uh, yeah, I can't I can't wait. I don't know how. I don't know how it's going to fit on my PlayStation. We'll find a way. <laughs> but I'll, I will find a way. I'll find a way. <laughs> and on um, that bombshell. Yeah, I do hope you've enjoyed this chat. Uh, a lot of random things that we talked about today. But yes, uh, and a giant bat that was, we swung at the CEO of Unity. Yeah, we got a Unity, Unity bat out this time. That was oh. a new bat. I mean, I mean, granted, they deserve it. Oh yeah, well they always do. The CEO and uh, board of directors of Unity deserve all the beatdowns that they, they get. They, they, they always do. But um, yeah, we've got, we've got we've got a new rhetorical beatdowns. We we have got a a new bat. Yes, the yeah. Unity bat. Yeah, the Activision Blizzard one is is getting a, a, the rest that it deserves. To be fair, only because only Activ because Activision Blizzard haven't done anything yet. <laughs> yet yes. uh, but anyway the, the week is still young yes yeah. but uh, I do hope you've enjoyed this chat and we will catch you in the next one bye now cheers